So we're gonna go into this plant today. This is jewelweed, Impatiens capensis. This is a native New England plant. Um, its claim to fame is that it can treat poison ivy rash. If you crush up the plant, it said that um, applying it to the poison ivy rash will assist in reducing the rash. I looked up the studies um, involving that, so I'm gonna go into that later in the video. First, I'm gonna do a little bit of plant identification. So this plant is a woodland plant tolerant of shade. Um, it is in the same genus as the annual impatience that are so common in the spring as an annual plant. Um, and this plant also has an annual life cycle. So when the winter comes, the plant dies off, and the next year, uh, the previously dropped seeds will come up. Um, and then obviously they'll produce flower and drop seed in the fall, and then the next year the cycle uh, repeats itself. Um, so they'll be very small in the spring, and now it's August, nearing the uh, it's September now, nearing the end of their life cycle. And they're about uh, five and a half, some of them are reaching about six feet tall. Um, First thing you'll notice all year round is uh, the leaf shape, and it's hard to tell on the video, but this is a soft herbaceous leaf. It's not very rough. Okay, this is going to be a hollow stem. I'm going to break this off so you can see it. So that's a hollow stem, and when you're uh, treating for poison ivy or applying this um, you'll usually break up the stem mash it up and it's very liquidy inside you could rub this stem right on the poison ivy or whatever you're trying to treat take a look at that flower shape you can see that insects crawl right in there uh, to pollinate the flowers and to get the nectar from the base um, it's a deep flower with room for them to go in there now these are also called touch-me-nots and I will attempt to demonstrate why. If you touch these seed pods, they will burst open. There it goes. Um, they burst open, the seeds come flying out. So there were only a few recent studies within the last few years um, that looked at whether the plant can reduce poison ivy rash. The method that they used is a little bit archaic to me. It seems like they basically gave people poison ivy like on their forearm in segmented areas and had a control and then applied um, either the mashed up uh, stems and leaves or they also tried to separate out uh, chemicals like saponins and they also tried to use just regular dish soap um, it turns out that the plant is better than the control um, but it wasn't quite as good as just using dish soap so there is something in the plant that seems to help with poison ivy rash now they suspect that that is the saponins in the plant that's a chemical it's a soapy substance uh, that's in the plant so if that's true if the, uh, the reason the plant works is because it has a soap-like substance. Then the best method would be to wash off the urushiol oil with the plant, as opposed to just using water. So instead of just rubbing the plant on the poison ivy, you want to rub it on the poison ivy and then wash it off. And maybe do that a couple times. I would imagine that would give good results um, based on the studies and based on the fact that it looks like the most active chemical, um, the most helpful chemical, is going to be the uh, saponins in the plant. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Also share my video uh, on your social media or with anyone that you think is interested. And please feel free to put comments, put your questions in the comments, and uh, I try to respond to all the comments. So thanks again for watching.